Hello and welcome back to the Wandering Wind Church. And today we are reading out of the Life Recovery Devotional, Day 8. Title, No Wind Situations. Our Bible reading for today is Genesis 16, 1 through 15. Step 1. We admitted that we were powerless over our dependencies and that our lives had become unmanageable. Sometimes we are powerless because of our station in life. We may be in a situation where other people have power over our lives. We may feel that we are trapped by the demands of others and that there is no way to please them all. It's a double bind. To please one is to disappoint another. Sometimes when we feel stuck and frustrated with our relationships, we look for a measure of control by escaping through our addictive behaviors. Hagar is a picture of powerlessness. She had no rights. As a girl, she was slave to Sarai and Abram. When they were upset because Sarai could not bear children, she was given to Abram as a surrogate. When she did become pregnant, as they had wanted, Sarai was so jealous that she beat the girl and she ran away. All alone out in the wilderness, she was met by an angel who told her, Return to your mistress and submit to her authority. I will give you more descendants than you can count. You are now preg pregnant and will give birth to a son. You are to name him Ishmael, which means God hears. For the Lord has heard your cry of distress. When we are caught in a no-win situation, it is tempting to run away through our addictive and compulsive escape hatches. At times like these, God is there and he is listening to our woes. We need to learn to express our pain to God instead of just trying to escape. He hears our woes and is willing to give us hope for the future. It is wise to turn and face our problems, accepting God's promise of help. This, is, this was a hard one for me. Facing my problems? Trusting God to listen when I tell him of my problems? Oh wow, that's new territory. Because even when I became a believer, I didn't trust God enough to say, Okay, God, here's everything I'm dealing with. Please help me. I was still trying to do it myself because that's the only way I'd ever done it. I had been so caught up in survival that I never thought of the idea of thriving, of going past surviving to being a better person, being able to thrive in him. And so I had never asked God, hey, can you help me deal with it? But once I did, once I did, it became so much better. And it wasn't because I did anything, but it was because I allowed God to do more than I ever could. Thank you guys so very much for watching, listening, sharing, subscribing, being a part of this ministry. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you have a wonderful week. I will see you guys again soon. And until then, take care of yourselves, and remember, we recover moment by moment, one day at a time. Thank you for watching. God bless you.